Hello fellow pipers and typers. It is typing Piper here. Really didn't want to do a play in my name. So it is Thursday, what the 28th? I don't even know. Um, but uh, yeah, yesterday I had a uh, wisdom tooth pulled and um, I have to say the last two weeks I was not feeling like myself. I wonder why. So obviously today I will not be smoking a pipe. Um, I was told to stay away from that for at least a week. Which I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> not as in like I'm going to smoke a pipe anyways. It's I don't care that I'm not smoking a pipe. It's uh, not needed. It's supposed to be like 90 something degrees out today. It's humid. It's um, the sun just feels hot. Took the little one for a walk earlier today and uh, it was just hot out. It's crazy hot. And um, yesterday the wife and I, um, well, because I had the day off from work after getting this thing done, um, we went out of town and uh, went to a couple of antique shops uh, just to try to get my mind off of uh, this little thing and um, you know give it a chance to uh, heal. I find that not I find that sitting in a place and uh, not doing something you constantly are just reminded of. Oh yeah, this happened. It sucked. <laughs> I'm going to tell you more about that in a little bit. But um, ended up scoring a, a good find yesterday. Uh, Burgundy Smith Corona typewriter, real early model. Um, that was what stood out to me, and I didn't realize it at the time when I found it. Um, I wrote a little bit about it on my blog and um, have some pictures on Instagram, but um, I'm happy I picked it up. I had passed up a few other models uh, while we were out. I only picked up the one. And uh, anyways, so getting back to this whole tooth thing. For the past 15 years, I have had dentists, five that I can think of over that time, five different dentists, all of them gave me shit about my teeth. You know, obviously because of like this guy here, oh, you need braces, you know, they, first time I go in, they're just looking at my mouth going cha-ching and, uh, you know, didn't really impress me much. <laughs> it's more like, uh, yeah, I don't have that great of insurance. Um, at the time, I didn't. So I didn't have that great of insurance. I was not their personal piggy bank. Um, their concern should have been my health, but instead it was, um, oh yeah, these silver fillings, we're going to have to take that out because that's poisoning you. I mean, the same shit that they've been using for the last hundred years. It's poisoning me. Well, I've already had these fillings for the last 30 years, so... I'm surprised I'm not dead already. So when it came to the wisdom teeth, um... All of them came out. I mean, like, through the gums. They're all out. They're in the open. They're not impacted. No surgeries required. And they always made this big stink about how they would have to refer me to an oral surgeon. Um, it was going to cost thousands of dollars. And basically my, my life was going to be uh, turned upside down for like a week because of my wisdom teeth. Which I never had taken care of because I was like, you're full of shit. 
they're out, just fucking pop them out. Do your job, please. So anyways, this guy here, finally, after uh, 15 years of hearing this crap and not having a dentist, uh, decided that it was going to become infected and um, caused a lot of pain for me for about two weeks. And uh, ended up going to the ER uh, Tuesday night left work after being there for two hours um, had a lot of pressure in my ear my eye was like this like the last hour I was at work I was like hi uh, yeah glad to be at work mm. um, and then I started having dizzy spells and that was when I, I knew like I can't function today like I should not be at work so uh, called my wife and um, said, hey, either uh, I have to go to the ER or you're going to have to take me to the ER, but one way or another, I've got to get there. And she'd been there before for uh, tooth pain and said, you know, all they're going to do is prescribe you antibiotics and painkillers. And I was like, yeah, I hope so. So, uh... Anyways, I got home, and there was some back and forth between the wife and I, and uh, I ended up driving to the ER by myself the first time. So, the one nearest to us is the one that I used to work in. And then I started thinking about a lot of the people that I used to work with, a lot of the people I did not like working with. The odds of having one of those people I did not like working with as my caregiver, I went back home. So I get back home and I tell the wife, uh, yeah, I can't go there. And she was like, why? You used to work there. And I was like, yeah, I know. That's why. You're going to have to take me. So we ended up going to the other hospital in town. And, uh, you know, honestly, it was like, two hours in and out. It seemed like it took forever. Um, some of the odd things about it was, you know, they never asked me for my insurance card. Thought that was a little weird. Um, they only asked for my ID. They uh, didn't have a television or anything in the waiting room, so it was, there was no music. It was just very quiet. Time went by really... Low. But eventually I was seen and uh, they gave me penicillin and prescribed two different painkillers. They tried to give me... Oh man, was it oxycodone? I forget what it was. But I said, don't give me any narcotics. And yeah, I was like, alright, so how's extra strength Tylenol? And I was like... Works fine for me. So, um, got the prescriptions. Was kind of able to sleep that night. And then first thing yesterday morning, I went into the local dental clinic. Which I'm thinking is going to be a total shit show. So keep in mind, for years I've gone to my own personal dentist. These people with their practices and their offices who take your uh, insurance and um, try to make you feel guilty about your teeth. So I go into the dental clinic, I go in, they, you know, have me fill out a thing, I go in the back. What do they do? They do one x-ray. They're like, where does it hurt? I said, right here. They took an x-ray. They didn't do all my, all my teeth. They didn't say, like, oh, yeah, you definitely need a cleaning. We're going to have to do that first. Uh, we're going to have to make you a chart. Blah, 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 blah. No. They took the x-ray. They looked at it. They're like, yeah, that son of a bitch needs to come out. So they moved me to another room. Um, this older guy came in who was super cool. Um said, you know, the way that your tooth is rooted in there might have some problem getting it out, but he was going to try. I was like, hey, 
You're doing more than the last five dentists I've known over the last 15 years. I'm cool with that. So, got a couple shots. Then I got the, like the really painful shot into uh, the gum. And then he just took some tools and was like wiggling and like moving it around. And he was like, oh, yeah, it's loosening up. And I'm just like, uh huh. <laughs> and then, uh, pop. There it is. Gone. I didn't feel a damn thing. So the moment the tooth came out, um, the pressure up here was gone. My eye didn't hurt anymore. Cheek wasn't, uh, as tender as it was basically all the problems I had for the last two weeks were like instantaneously gone so um, yeah it took 15 years and in less than two hours one dude at a dental clinic did what five other dentists refused to do and I still can't figure out why I ever gave them any money so that was my day yesterday. Um, still have to go back and actually have a checkup. And I highly doubt that they're going to be like any of the uh, other dentists that I've gone to in the past. Um, it just sucks that, like, what is supposed to be the better version of healthcare? Not so much. So this weekend we should have a new podcast recorded. Um, been uh, working on my blog a little bit this week. Haven't really felt like writing anything. Probably due to like all that going on. Uh, so I'm trying to work my way into doing that again. And uh, hopefully I can get back on my uh, normal track of things that I was doing before all this went down so anyways hope everyone's doing well and um gribbly love the photos keep it up um I know you might not be happy with uh how your pinhole photography is going but uh I find most of your photos are super cool I'd buy them so uh, get that Etsy going so that uh, I can cover my house with a bunch of uh, artisanal works. So um, anyways, keep on typing.